Hello everybody and welcome to Sagittarius time. So as of today, November the 22nd, we will be having 30, 30 days of Sagi time. So happy birthday to all Sagis and hopefully this reading finds you well. So what actually I figured out over the two months of obsessing and finding the balance between what I can do and what I want to do, I would love that everybody gets hour to two to three hours readings, but it's just reality is I don't have that much time. So what I'll be doing each, each birthday sign each month is going to have a little bigger reading. However, I'm going to go to the old format where we will have Tarot and Gypsy and Leathermond and it was a winner. All of you liked it because it targets all of you single relationship on and off. The other people we kind of like can get lay of the land. Also guys, before I forget, please, I'm just about to finish my annual scopes and this is the last call for a pre-order prize until the fourth of the month for each individual scope it's 19.95 and for all of them is 39.95 i have actually placed the preview wait for the end of this video and you will be actually be able to click and get a really preview for the next year so you can decide if this is what you want anyway without further ado let's jump it is november december 2017 we are finalizing the year Hi Cancer, welcome to your December 2017. So let's see what you have. Patience. Heal, reversed. Release. Dream time, creation. And the master reversed. And you also got heart chakra. So there is no balance in giving and in receiving over here. When heart chakra is affected, generally it's not green anymore. It becomes red, almost like a bloody red, just like the bleeding heart in Three of Swords that is represented. So I am a little bit worried about you, Cancer. I know you need this. But like in short, this is really telling me that some healing is not taking place and there is lots of suffering happening and maybe you are pushing yourself to kind of conquer this in a kind of methodical way but things are not really turning out this is like not something that can happen in a flick on a switch uh, with the release or the death card being the central one look it is kind of like the key to kind of like really nourish yourself, leave that, let this light come in. This is like such actually beautiful illustration about that. Because like we see this like light in both of these cards, right? Here is saying like, oh my gosh, look, you have to take these chains out. And I think you know that on some level, because this is possibly why this is happening. The master is not being reached. This card mastery is not talking about mastery about the others. It's talking about the mastery about yourself and kind of like I'm puzzled that we got this card which kind of talks about the aboriginals of Australia and dream time is basically their place which exists before time and exists actually outside of time and where um, all this kind of ancestral spirits beings come to earth and start giving life you know this form and once when they finish their work their building right they they basically remained in the very forms they created as you can see that and that will be you cancer over here right so animals hills stars <laughs> stones pets everything is basically the product uh, over here and they continue to even be present today so they actually talk in their teaching that the dream time is an individual's or group's spiritual template. And that includes songs and stories uh, that have been handed down for at least 60,000 years. 
even though those aboriginals are going to tell you they existed way before the beginning of time. In one of these stories, uh, they are basically talking about this musical instrument, which I believe is called Dijeraidu or something like that. Don't quote me on that. You have to look at it. But it's like the hollow, basically, log that emits sort of a droning sound when played. Check out, I think it's called, I think it's spelled D I D G E R I D O O or something like that. Check it out on the net. It is like actually amazing instrument. Hearing it, you're literally hearing the spirits. If you need healing, if you need releasing, that is going to push you into it because you're actually calling these energies to come to help you, right? So we see here the spirit man playing this and creating their own world, right? So do that or do the breathing. You, you need to kind of like go down in heart because every creation is from the heart, right? And this something will start to spring in creative action. You are on the right path because like, look, every single card you got is a major one. So this is going to be a really important. And Mercury retrograde is good for shedding all the stairs, shedding everything that needs to go. And kind of like breathing is cleaning your lungs and cleaning inside. Releasing tears is cleaning all this like stuck water energy inside of you. So be expressive, have some kind of like dance or self-expression or something that can somehow help and can work. And um, if, if you feel this is really, really hard, then, then do a mixture. And actually, this is something I usually do. I don't know, you cannot tell it here. But there are like a few drops of rosemary oil mixed with lavender oil. This is basically decreasing your cortisol, decreasing your stress, and helping uh, enrich this en entire environment with this beautiful spirit energy. So it is just like something like that sitting in a dish around you. I like to have that when I'm doing my readings. It's definitely, rosemary is definitely helping with the mental activity. And lavender is calming down. It's like I'm mean, getting both at the same time. So it is a really good thing to kind of like really be able to absorb and go deeper within yourself. You guys really need to go and tame this this heart chakra because it is red i'm feeling it red in you guys um wear something green like wear a green shirt even better um green uh, lingerie i know it's not the sexiest color but you know if you can have maybe green nightgown something that is going to help healing that energy because right now being red it's actually on the opposite side so let's see your tarot portion next and see what more we can find out hi cancer so let me tell you which cards you've got Ace of Chalices, Seven of Cups reversed, the Sun, Eight of Pentacles, Judgment reversed, Temperance reversed, the Hermit reversed, Ten of Wands reversed, and Eight of Wands reversed. So the judgment reversed is in a central position and there is a repeat of temperance even though you had it in the upright situation in the general part saying look you know you have to kind of look things from different sides maybe something is not the right time you guys definitely will be affected with um with mercury retrograde mostly you'll be affected in issues that require some kind of timing something is going to be off something that starts well and that sounds good everybody agrees upon but kind of like goes bad i don't know it can be that that you you buy a vacation but you come to the airport and somebody double book your seat um or that you completely miss a day something like that right okay so something 
is starting really well this month you have this ace of cups this is an awesome beginning and you are paying attention to the details you're kind of like doing some really really good job but somehow you're feeling a little bit empty you this is not a good state i don't like to see hermit reversed when hermit is reversed so there's like somebody who goes out in the wilderness looking for his or her own star in all these rags meaning like really something that that is inside is really important here we are really missing uh, missing this lesson and like we are out there maybe seeing all this beautiful planet and I think this is why this Dijeru, uh card came out there is like this connectivity that is missing for some reason like if you're out there like do you really need to like let's say in the forest and in a park do you need to grab your phone or should you enjoy the birds and stuff so this is talking about this disconnection and this disconnection can sometimes make us feel alone and some of you are feeling that they are, you're not given a choice anymore. Maybe you used to have some choices and opportunities, but currently you do not have them. Or something that started to grow really, really well. And this kind of is very typical for Mercury retrograde. Something looks very promising, something we are doing, things we are going places, and then uh, it happens. And it could be something on an emotional base. And like you guys also tend to be this way, right? You're going forward and get scared, off you go, kind of a thing. From all the cards, this one kind of worries me because worries me doesn't worry me. It's sort of good. This is like the time. This is one of my karma cards. When is the time to pay karmic debts? So you see here the kitty is like so mesmerized with trying to see what can be uh, materialized what else is up in the stars but this way like sort of like like in the biblical tradition judgment day is like you're literally here to pay for your sins when judgment comes reversed it generally it tells that certain previous sins are coming to roost whether yours or somebody else's but generally we get affected both ways so it's going to be some kind of uh, reckoning, kind of maybe sometimes we are not even aware that certain things bother other people. Sometimes we are like really obnoxious without even realizing we are obnoxious. It's going to be clipping off your wings cancer this month for sure. Or you will yourself realize, oh my gosh, I was thinking this is kind of cool and it wasn't. It's not cool and I can see how this could have been a burden to the other people because right now I can see that um, maybe somebody took away options from you and that's what's going to help you kind of see this and you're going to try to rectify the situation maybe something that has been really hard for the other person you're going to try to lighten their load or even with this release you're going to finally just fess it out and just realize okay let's get it all out let's get it out whatever it is if you want to tell me i'm a bad person tell me at least i can hear how you see me what is this projection that they give out because i am trying to be this sunny person i'm trying to repair myself and it's kind of like you're taking a step backward from the situation like you are really taking in what has been said you are really trying to fix it i really do see that and you know sometimes people just go and just do their stuff and bully other people you guys are really going to take it to heart and you will really try to fix it maybe it's still not a great time to do that because it's a mercury retrograde and maybe uh, some of your messages or the messaging they are getting will be delayed but fret not this is actually generally a good thing because you're kind of like a coming into realization what needs to be done and you see on one side i see once and here i see nine eight nines of ten so kind of like a lots of things are going to like i mean you know like when a dog chases its tail it's kind of becomes one so then you don't really know where is the beginning and where is the end so that's sort of kind of a flavor the month will have oh my gosh you know uh, also the things that other people haven't done 
in the past or maybe the promises that haven't been kept you're going to raise to the surface and deal with that so okay sure let's raise everything to the surface and let's bygones be, be bygones and let's go from there so the next part is going to be Lenormand, all 32 cards grand tableau so we're going to see like the situational analysis of what is going to be going with you in december Right. So guys, in Lenormand we see situations, right? We see what can be coming your way or how, you know, you can get yourself prepared. So we generally have the two main significators, the lady and the gentleman. Well, we have the, uh, the snake and the lilies that can actually represent the other people. So I do see here the cross is knighting the coffin and uh, it's almost like in the central position, something with a heart. Um, I can totally see that judgment card that we have seen there. Maybe um, maybe it is an issue that is kind of like really close to your heart. Maybe there is something that has ended, died, and maybe somebody betrayed you who you were loyal to. It is kind of um, really interesting that, you know, the lady and the gentleman are sort of on the same trajectory, right? So somebody's coming with flowers and trying to rebuild reputation. And maybe for some of you, it's going to be kind of like renewal and reunion, especially for those of you who basically um, maybe live together and got separated for a little bit. But there are like still things that need to be explored. I think one of the partners is a little bit overly, um, let's call it smart for their own good. They are not really clear what, and you see this is like what I saw, something really bad happened. Somebody, um, it could be that one partner betrayed something, maybe even to extent of making somebody else's else pregnant. It could have been even some kind of trip that took place a couple of months ago when things happened. And some of you know it instinctually, some of you know it factually. But most of you know that something is wrong, that something died. And this doesn't have to be necessarily that the relationship died, but sort of like that good feeling, like, right, this good feeling that kind of existed kind of was railroad over here and I think generally it's going to be that repair month it's going to be looking up you see like you had that heel over there reversed and you have the stars which is sort of like similar flavor of course after something that has been kind of like taken down there is the time to heal I don't know uh, if you guys, um, one of one of the significators I can see heavily is coming out with children around and that's what I'm saying, it's either maybe it was a child with somebody else or something in the situation maybe has to do with children. Now what is going to be really important is like that any um, insecurities and anything that is like ambiguous anything that you need to find out anything that you need an answer heard demand it uh, you don't have to be abrupt about it but demand it it's it's kind of like something that I think is still a bit a big obstacle to to this possibility which can see uh, can be a really good possibility for healing uh, sometimes people don't recover from breakup whether it was for cheating or not but you guys have this really really good possibility of reaching a fuller recovery if these two things are being addressed that somebody is like too smart for their own good so coming back with sassy comments or not um are not explaining themselves or not being transparent right or not being a good communicator or not transparency is like really the most important part right so i don't know if the star one two three four five six yeah it also has eight point because here is 16 it really should be 17 
Uh, I think Madame Lenormand didn't know her numerology when she was naming this, and I don't know why this hasn't been corrected before. The cards are good, but um, most numbers don't make sense because the star has eight points for a reason, and also the create. See, this is where you go wrong when people don't know their tarot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it actually should be seven of them, with this one being counted. Um, the eighth one, that's why the 17 in tarot. And these others will talk about these chakras, repairs of chakras. For you, let's look into this heart because this heart kind of came out as the chakra that you need to heal. And now we see that why. I guess it was something that really where your loyalty has been betrayed and this is kind of like really resonating with you as well. So now the stars, it is right next to the partner you are in the house of the stars and the stars is in the house of the fate so that is connectivity is there even though I sort of like have some kind of a distance in between but even the distance is bridged with hope and with good gestures and with building new reputation and that combined with the stars talks about transparency right he is coming in a house of anchor and let's see this anchor is coming with the ship so finally ship is sailing in and it's time to kind of like say where is he, where is he staying uh looks like there was somebody who was with somebody else for a while that's what i said could have been somebody who moved out temporarily or maybe the relationship got disconnected temporarily because i just the coffin is like one of the central cards the coffin and the snake well not a great combination but having said that, kind of like almost like the lesson to this particular situation is to communicate. If there is a child involved, this is kind of like really important factor to take in account. And if issues can be resolved due to the sake of a child, if not, simply like really how things will be shared if not together. But I really think uh, this child also in most cases talks about something from the past, just like what you had this judgment card, something from the past needs to kind of resurrect come to the surface just like the pregnancy comes to and it's just so it happened to be in the same line the stork and the child the pregnancy ends up with the birth so something from the past is coming to the surface to be dealt with and that's why these are these crossroads so one crossroads means something needs to kind of like die another crossroad is saying okay it's not going to be hard, it's not going to be easy but this mountain can be overcome Okay, so lastly, let's check your gypsy spread, all 52 cards. All right, Cancers, the grand tableau, 52 cards. So what's going to be happening here is... Okay, so let me first introduce the uh, the significators. The wife can be the wife, could be for those of you who are in a relationship, or could be the woman with the children or child, but it could be really anybody because this is a general reading, right? So I don't have this determination. Then we have the Lord, who can be a married guy, who can be somebody who is established, also can be a lady, right? Again, general. Then we have the sweetheart, generally should be young lady looking, and there is the lover, young man looking, or man looking. So for those of you much younger, 20s and 30s, we have the young woman over here. But we also have these p characters like foe and enemy, and where is enemy, where is enemy. Um, those people can be other people but that can be also us sometimes we are our own worst enemies so i'm going to give you a few different storylines that i see over here so let's go from there so i'm actually just trying to see all these other elements that i have seen uh in the other ones so anyway so these two guys for those of you who are dating and who may be waiting for somebody i can still see that some kind of secrets are here and I can see that there was a third party uh, involvement. Maybe somebody was involved with somebody who um, maybe was your friend and you felt really double betrayed, one from your partner 
and kind of like this money card which also talks about secrets is like heavily over here as well as the soldier is the one who's guarding secrets and yet attacking and then there's a sorrow so it was a situation here that sort of like is not as easy to um, to communicate and especially I see here there is some kind of delay in communication and possibly even health issues over here you're really exposing yourself belly uh, you have this hardcore because you're so soft inside and it looks like somebody really took it away or maybe somebody um, somebody kind of like um, took you for granted as well now I also see that some of you ladies might have two or some of you cancers might have two partners and with one person there is like it's kind of strange right none of these partners is really exciting yet you're more excited with this younger pardon me uh, maybe older maybe more established partner maybe somebody who is well off or maybe you think they're well off I really don't think they are I think they're more or less pretending that way but they don't really have their act together they just kind of like sort of like maybe are gambling gambling really in casinos gambling poker or gambling in life in general people who kind of like tend to just have transitory or transient kind of like professions such as like you know a, a store you never know when the client is going to come in so anyhow somebody is really banking on uh, things are not going to be found out about that so I wonder why is this trio over here or even four people that somehow are interconnected because looks like everybody was somehow sidetracked or cited by somebody else right now the wife card is sitting here in the middle and it's kind of interesting it looks like this person here this significator is having a little bit different story she uh, looks like went through counseling really really deeply thinking through we have the twice thinking in and out about the situation also determining who are her friends and who are her enemies and determining that to cut everybody out of life out of her life who are not the right people for her there was like a new negotiation of things that she needs she's still hurting there's like still something that kind of hurts but at the same time the healing is taking place in this instance and it could be again because we have the child close by right that it could be something connected either to to her children or to something that came to the surface after maybe going on for quite a while and again it could be some other woman that is involved into all of that thing and hence uh, when something has been found out there is this lack of loyalty that we just saw there as well the conversation stopped but somehow that hope has been revoked and recently maybe just as recent as last month sort of like things started to move on in a very small increments and you feel that maybe so so the distance can be bridged even though there is like still of course the pain and hurt but I think it's going to end up being fortunate However, you need to kind of continue nourish yourself. You need to continue either going in a therapy or whatever was the way that was helping because I see the therapy here. Where did I see the doctor? I've seen the doctor as well. Hmm. Where is the doctor? Why did I think that I saw the doctor? No, that's a melody. No, I saw the scholars and I saw uh, the thinker, the thought, aha, uh -huh, here's the doctor. So yeah, I knew she's not in the doctor, doctor is reverse, meaning like it still has to continue. And here we have this old lady, where is the old lady here, right? So both of them can be different types of therapy. One of them can be a talk therapy, this can be a pill therapy, right? The difference between psychiatrist and psychologist. Pill therapy is not a great it does help you to raise your like I mean serotonin well that's the theory but serotonin can be raised with half an hour on your stairmasters and you are not getting any side effects so 
meaning the work really has to be done. Like, I mean, this whole things have to be left off, and I am see here this whole depression has to be dealt with before it can go further. So for some of you, it's going to be a really complex situation, but for the others of you, that reckoning time has already happened, and you are moving forward in actually a much better direction. So, Cancers, I actually did pull one more card, if I can find where I put the sack, or did I? Did I? Yeah, I did. That is going to seal the reading, and it is stuck in the mud, interestingly enough. It was reversed, was it? No, it wasn't reversed, pardon me. I must be reversed if I opened up to reverse, so let's see. You're being invited to stop and savor the wonder of your life. So this is what it says. When this card is reversed, it reminds you that you're stuck due to your obstinate desire to get what you want, when and how you want it. Perhaps it is uncomfortable to admit that the course of action you have chosen for yourself isn't right for you now. Even so, you have a choice. You can struggle in the mud and get nowhere, or take a moment to observe where you are, then step out, wash away the dirt, dry off, and find other things to do. A much better adventure awaits you. You'll know when it's time to embark upon it. So, I kind of like it because I really don't necessarily think that you are stuck in the mud because this was reversed. It's sort of like you are getting unstuck and this whole process is going to take place because Mercury retrograde is very pesky. It kind of like makes us go back and look in the past and this month you are doing that collectively with the rest of us with actually cleaning the slate. You guys really want to get out of this mud. You're like so sick and tired of it. It is enough. So Cancer, I think this is really good. So clean the slate and move in a better direction. So the judgment card is possibly the key card. And remember, call the spirits. You kind of have you have to summon that healing that come to you and I can see if you summon this healing you're actually ending up over here and somebody who is actually moving on and moving forward with a much better understanding of the people around and what he or she wants. So my dear Cancers, thank you so much and thank you for being patient, waiting for you being the last. It was not planned, it was just like simply getting the paper out of the hat and seeing who is next. So. Until the next time, I love you, and please order your pre-orders for your terrascopes. It is www.ketera.ca slash pre-order. And if you want to get your private reading, please contact me, www.ketera.ca. Thank you so much. Love you.